Did you know it was possible to create your Power BI reports with QuickBooks Online data in 5 to 10 minutes? And this report covers profit and loss balance sheet cash flow. It allows you to combine multiple accounts together and uh, it is it is very well designed. Uh, you don't have to write any docs yourself, you can just use a publicly available Power BI template for this and uh, just connect it to your data. In this video, I will show you how to do exactly that. So first things first, I want to take you through the template. Uh, the first thing we have here is a profit and loss visual tab. Uh, so this includes the trends for income and net income, also trends for cost of goods sold, overheads, and some income trends for comparison. You also have the breakdown of income by income group and overheads by overheads group. Uh, everything is absolutely interactive, so you can click on an income group and you can see the trends for this particular group. Uh, if you want to see uh, the breakdown even further to the next level, then you can see this in the visual on the right. Uh, in this particular account, we don't have uh, any further breakdowns, so the visual is shown blank, but uh, if you do, then you will see those further breakdowns in this visual. You can filter this data by accounting method. You can switch between accrual and cash right here, and you can see that all of your visuals update. You can also filter by uh, year and quarter and month, so you can switch between your selections here. If you have multiple clients, you will see all of them in this slicer. You can select all or you can select only one. Uh, finally, those uh, those cards here show you the total number for the selected period and also the visual comparison, so the percentage comparison to the previously uh, selected period. So this is your profit and loss statement visualized. Now this is your um, default tabular version of uh, an income statement. So if you want to see the drill down for your income groups, you can do that here. Uh, essentially, you can expand your income, you can see all the income groups that make up the total amount and you also have the percentages for every income group. So, for example, this first group makes up 10% of your total income. If you now go to balance sheet, uh, you can see your assets, liabilities and equity visualized. Uh, you can also see the breakdown, like which uh, asset groups make up the value of your assets and uh, same for liabilities and equity and you can see which transactions make up the value of those groups. If you don't need the transactions uh, everything is customizable so you can basically delete that visual and make this one bigger and this just allows you to read the text a bit easier. Um, same thing is here on the balance sheet uh, table tab and as you can see, the accounting logic is maintained. So liabilities plus equity equals to assets. So now if we go to cash flow visual, you can see the total increase or decrease in cash flow for uh, a selected period. You can also see operating, investing and financing activities by month. Uh, you can see in which month the cash flow was positive and in which month it was negative. And uh, um, yeah, you can see the breakdown for your investing, operating and financing activities here. Finally, the tab uh, that we have left is just a table version of your cash flow statement. So now we'll explain you how to install this template for yourself. So the first thing you would want to do is you would want to go to a Microsoft Store and search for QuickBooks Connector. That's the solution that I'm using for this demo. Um, this uh, connector essentially gets the data into the format that you need here. So uh, you can browse through this Google Sheet yourself and you can see which format of data you would get. Uh, this data is also explained on this page, so you can see what all of the columns mean. Uh, I will leave both links under the description of this video. 
So if you do go ahead with this solution, you will be sent a link like this, which um, essentially allows you to authenticate to the company, uh, uh, who, which data you want to extract. So I will sign in with my credentials and I will then select the company which I want to extract the data from. So if I select my company and click next, then uh, essentially that's uh, that's what I need to do to authenticate. If I have multiple companies, I will go to this link multiple times and uh, authenticate to multiple companies. This would allow me to consolidate the data for those multiple companies together. Finally, uh, once this is done, uh, the scripts to extract my data into Azure SQL will be launched. So the data will be available uh, through an Azure SQL Server database. Now, uh, this could be a database either owned by yourself, if you have a database already, or it could be a database um, owned by this solution. So whichever you prefer. Um, now that you've done that, the data will be extracted and you will be sent a server name, database name, username, password and schema name. Uh, and you can use those details in order to set up your templates. So if we go to Power BI now and we click on File, Import and Power BI Template, um, you can then click here and uh, that's, that's your template. Now, when you first open it, it will show you some parameters uh, which you need to fill in. Uh, those parameters are a server name, database name, and a schema name. So let me just fill it in right now. Now that I filled those in, I will click load. And the first time that you do that, uh, you will be prompted a few windows uh, where you just need to enter the username and password. I've already done that, so Power BI remembers the username and password, and I will not get prompted those windows. But the first time you will do that, you will see it, and it's completely normal. You will also get some windows uh, asking you to confirm that you want to run the queries. So you will get the actual SQL query and you will be prompted with a choice to run or cancel. Just click run every time. There are five to six queries which you need to confirm that you want to run. And once you confirm that, uh, the data will start to load as you can see on the screen right now. Uh, once the data is loaded, uh, the visuals will be loaded into your Power BI file as well. Uh, so I will speed up the next portion of this video to show you what it would look like. The data has now finished loading and as you can see I get exactly the template that I showed you in the beginning of this video. So um, the whole process took me 5 to 10 minutes. I did not have to write any code. I do not have to reinvent the, the wheel and have to look for tables inside of the QuickBooks Online connector, which I need to use to produce my profit and loss table. I do not have to go through all the challenges of finding uh, how to combine multiple QuickBooks Online accounts together. Uh, instead, I just use the ready-made solution and I can build on top of it now. So if I want to change the way any of those visuals look right now, I can easily do that. If um, you know, if uh, I need to add additional data sources or uh, change my data somehow, I can also do that. So, yeah, I, uh, that's what I have for you today. And uh, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, if you need this template, then uh, just leave me a comment under this video. I will reply to it and uh, send you the template. Um, I will also leave the link to the templates uh, under this video so you get it yourself. So that's it from me today and I will see you in the next video. See you later.